Hey guys, so I thought I'd do another screencast. It's been a while since I've done the last one. <clears throat> and I thought I would update the the one that's been so popular, the Badool DP tutorial. Uh, and I've done some things to update it. Uh, that I thought you might you might like that. So <clears throat> here's Badool. And in the last one I had contact three, uh, but I upgraded to contact three point five, which allows you to address I got like up to 32 gigabytes of memory. So, and I also bought some more RAM. Uh, I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Here, I thought this might interest you. This is my system. Um, and I have DP 5.13. And okay, so in Badoo, I've got all this, these con each one of these is another instance of contact. So I'll just double click on one of them. You go. This one is the LA scoring strings. And I've got this loaded up and running with no problem. Um, I did load up just the 16 gigabyte one, a 16 bit audio one. I didn't load up the 24 bit. And a true strike I've got on here. So it's the whole orchestra. And if I ever need, oh, also a cool trick that uh, you might want to know about is if you right click on one of these, like for instance here in this one, I have, um, I have evolve and this is tempo locked. But in order to get it tempo locked in, in Bedul, if you're in rewire mode, you just right click on it, sync to Bedul rewire. And it puts this little green S next to it. So the Hollywood winds have it, and the scoring strings, the uh, art tool has it. Uh, and there you go. So that's my setup, and it's all going through rewire into DP. Same as before, with reverb on each one of the channels, so that when you record, it's, each section is printed with reverb. Um, and that's it, that's the setup. So there you go. Um, oh, here's a cool little DP trick that I found that I really like. <clears throat> I use this thing called MIDI device groups, which has been in DP since the beginning, I think. Um, but I found a cool use for it. I found myself always like, you know, playing in a patch using like the ensemble spiccato patch or something, and then copy pasting it to another string patch and like copy pasting it to like three, four, five different patches. But with this, I can just create one instrument one device group that will play all three of those patches all at the same time. Um, which I know in Logic is probably really easy to do, but I thought this was cool. So that's one I set up. Um, there's another one with a different combination of strings. Alright, and then I have some like long strings. This is like, this is four different libraries. It's cool because some samples have mod wheel and some of them don't, but you know, it all blends together nice. And LA 
play scoring strings, I've, I have a, a bunch of legato instruments playing together. This is the violins one, two, and violas. This is like every horn library all playing together. Right. And then the short brass. right here and just this using this block of sounds and then if you want the individual sections you just scroll down and and add what you need including percussion and stuff that's how I work I found that to be pretty helpful and streamlined here's the ending There's some like pops and stuff because I'm running screen flow at the same time. Uh, what else can I show you? Hollywood wins. Best library ever. <laughs> Let's play just the woodwind parts. Oh, if you guys if you guys have some phobia, this is the coolest patch ever. The horns marcato. It's short, but I don't know, it's really nice. It has a nice swell to it. Oh, and fanfare trumpets, I just got these. These are great. programmed it differently than VSL has it. I have a key switch, this is for all the data. And then I have all the shorts on this one. If you play it long, you get the long, uh, you get the portato, but if you play it short, it It's a good compliment to these epic horns. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.